<clears throat> How to get up there? I cheated, dude. Baja Radilli and SCSSCS. Thanks for subbing. Front score. Thanks for subbing. Gary Wap says, Yeeters. Yeeters. Wise guy SSBM Garth Moringa's Dark Place. Thanks for subbing. I Mason H D Galeen DKS Kuopo. Kuopo. Norfleet bit of gray high horror bits and scorpion and packet and pocket then sorry. A dub tra thrash my fart box. Don Quixote, thanks for subbing, dude. Permission to tribute me? Denied. JM and Innocent Spoon, Puppy Girl Sammy, thanks for subbing Woo Space and Cooter Van Davenport and Maple DXS, thanks for subbing. Blue Wolf, 47k, thanks for subbing. Omega Pumps. Permission to Glorp? Approved. Cotton Noir, thanks for subbing. Zebbot, thanks for subbing. Rio. Holy fuck, I. Rio. Says this guy will never read my name. Rio Janek Lum Tun Hook Tud Raluger. Is that even a word? Zelkar McQuin. Ross and Poppy, thanks for subbing. King, thanks for subbing. Is it backwards? Regular Dutch milk enjoyer, dude. I got it. Lelic, thanks for subbing. I got it. I thought you were Japanese. Orvanus, uh, thanks for subbing. Smubbies, thanks for subbing. You have a favorite class in D&D. My favorite class in Pathfinder 2E is Bard. I don't really have one in 5e. Ducked up cow, you may a be. Thanks for something. The plug. Have I gotten to play Helldivers 2 yet? Yeah, it's alright. Origin, please, thanks for something. It's alright. It's freaking night. Silent Mark, thanks for glorping. Thieving Flea, thanks for subbing. How are we getting down from here, guys? I figured out how we got down. Dude, I know you can make that vertical leap, bitch. One out of ten, how paranoid's Max? Hmm. Not that paranoid right now.
Sab was using no clipping to move at light speed unless he wanted to. Interesting. I want to see if this guy's coming back out of his house. Willem and Anastasia and Hertog and Kujikawa and Silent Mark, thank you very much for Glorpin Thieving Flea. Thanks for subbing. Oh, there he is. He literally didn't even see me. <laughs> <laughs> what up dog hi The jail stuff? Yeah, I know, I'm just fucking with him. See that guy limping over there. <laughs> this guy's giga limping. We gotta change our pants. gonna destroy my lockpick and I won't be able to actually drive the car. We gotta get some lock picks. Get a nice name of hell. Thanks for something. Move two while there's something. Which time? What time is the city council meeting today? Eight. Eight. Uh, five, 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 four and a half hours from now. Four, four and a half, half hours. hours. Perfect. Okay. All right. I will be there with video camera. Tape you, good sir. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so, Adams, I gotta ask, what, 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 what's the, uh, you know, what's, what's the problem with LG? Huh? 
Why don't you like LG? You almost gave Damien contempt for LG. Oh, uh, because I knew he was going to piss Reggie off if he kept saying that. Oh, wait, what, what's the Ray, context Reggie's here? Nobody gave me any history. Reggie's a little cry, baby. Uh, yeah, yeah Reggie. Well, cry, listen, baby. listen, listen, Max. I, I don't know if you remember Reggie from a long time ago. Reggie might. Remember him? Yeah. A little, little Australian guy? Yeah. Yeah, a little. Yeah, you you know how quick he is to temper. <laughs> uh, I just didn't want the mouse. Last time oh. I spoke to Reggie, he apologized to me. And the time before that, I screamed at him, so. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Come out with a couple rap tracks from LG. Oh, Loser. I know that's what, he referred to, that's what he referred to his, his attorney, his law firm back in the day. Hi. What up, Max? Hi. Vingle? Yeah, we gotta be careful, guys. Yo, Max, quick question. Yeah. Uh, you familiar with this Rohan guy? Yeah. The guy who got his arm cut off? Yeah. He cool? Like, you think he'd be a good worker? Yeah. I don't know. Just needed an opinion, because uh, I don't see him around much. He's around late. Also... Yeah. Yeah, he's chill. Yeah, he's been really wanting a job here. As a clerk? Yeah. Yeah, he's chill. Okay. Big yeah, chill. He's... Wanted to get opinions on people who've been around. Nice, nice neck tattoo. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I got it like five years ago. Did it hurt? Yeah. Sick. Pain is cool, man. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I guess. I don't know. Dealt with worse. I've been shot two hundred times. <laughs> Really? Yep. For what? Well, I guess I kind of know some of it, but... Got any cool ones? Nope. <laughs> like, if your life could be a montage, <laughs> could you make one? Yeah, I could. That's sick, man. Yep. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've been shot that many times. Stop being cringe on purpose. I probably count how many times I've been shot. Not me, yo. I counted to 200. <laughs> yeah, that's when I stopped. <laughs> so he goes beyond that? Yeah, probably. <laughs> also, what's the, what's the deal with the Vingle wanting to, like, hurt Siobhan or whatever? Like, why, Vingle, why Vingle, da Vingle Dan was in here one day, and, uh... Mr. Man? Hi. Vingle Dan was in here. Hold on, sorry, I've, I've got, like, indigestion. Yeah, you're good. I'm an old man. Okay. He was in here, and I forget what was happening. It looked like he was about to rob us or some shit. I don't really actually fully remember. But I, I told, I told my wife and a couple other people to pull their weapons out and be ready. And then he saw that and backed off and said, "You have transgressed me this day. I will not forget this forever." And then walked out of the building. Oh. So he's been. Yeah, um. yeah, he hunted down Rohan, cut off his arm. <laughs> And then mm -hmm. he ran my wife over going 100 miles an hour yesterday. So he's like really uh, tried like offer. He, he used to have this like pimp arc thing. Is, is he still doing that? Is he just like interested in Siobhan like that? Is it, he's a pimp? Yeah, he used to pimp out uh, Eve. How's it going? He better not pimp my wife out. <laughs> I don't think oh. he actually did anything though. Like he was just <laughs> lazy at it. He just said, you're my hoe now, and then that's, <laughs> like, how he operated. There's, there's only one person who can pimp my wife out, and it's me. 
Fair enough. Yeah, I'd say the same about my wife. <laughs> Word. Oh. And then at the hospital, Good after evening, after Bro, my after, after, after motherfucking Vingle Dan got apprehended or whatever, my wife and I went in to talk to him. And my wife fucking snitched on me. She was like, it was Max that told me to draw my weapon and I obey my husband. So now he's after me! <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah. hmm. Well, I gotta answer this. Yeah. No, I'm hey, thinking. what up? Hey, is all the, the real estate on this real estate app owned by the state? Uh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So how you expect me to spend a million dollars on the goddamn building you won't even let me fucking see the inside of, Max? So you, you uh, I'm... I'm giving cops permission to give people tours. So that's not a lie. No. Okay. Because yeah. I just asked the cop and they said, I don't think we can do that. Yeah. Tell them so that. Uh, that too. I'll, I'll do a little 311 right now. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Yep. All right. I love you. catch it. Trying to like body part, even fake ones. It's like in that stuff. Hey, what up? Hello. First person. Max. Hey. I have something very important for you. Yeah? I need to meet with you and show you this. Helmet off, Kermy. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing that you I'm bringing to you, but the, the oh, thing that I'm bringing to you is like not it. good whatsoever. Oh. Very bad. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um, where you at? Uh, I'm all the way up north. I can come back to the city. You mean to nah. just meet you at City Hall? No, nah, I can come to you. I feel like driving a little bit anyway. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let me call you back in like two minutes, all right? All right, sounds good. I'm gonna start driving north. All right, all right yeah, towards Sandy. Yep. Sign in. I'm signed in. We gotta change our pants, dude. I don't like this. This pants have like a green fade. Can make someone fart today, please? Yeah, dude, don't worry, man. I'm gonna do your f fart fetish shit. Caraga, it's coming. Sonia. Hey, Max. Um, I had an altercation earlier, and uh, With who? some foreign, uh, Marty Bank. Okay, I robbed him. All right, Ooh. and uh, yeah. Now he's saying shit like, "I'm gonna go to the mayor." All this shit, treason. I don't fuck. Either way, the guy. I I don't know what the fuck he thinks he has or whatever the fuck. But I just want you to know before he told me that you're on your way up or something. So look, whatever he says, it's bullshit yeah, because so we're, be good. Pink, we're square. You, could you just all take right? me up the road. 
Yeah. Thanks, All right. Man. See you later. Uh, oh, wait, wait, Sonia. Wait, wait, wait. What's up? Um, so you... I got a gun on my lap, by the way, friend. Don't try anything. Oh, <laughs> All right, good. I'm, I'm the mayor, by the way. Um, sorry, I just picked up oh, a hitchhiker. Me. Okay. Um, so... You... Yeah, appa apparently he robbed... Uh, he, he found Winsong, and he was telling me that, like, is something that he has it's like gonna be treason or something and i don't fucking know what he's on about but well, i i'm it, not planning nothing so so he robbed you or no i robbed him and then he found some of my people and robbed him and now he's uh he's all excited and i don't really know why but you're well, involved apparently uh, so i i know that winsong has been protesting <laughs> Yeah, but, I heard she got a she got quite a big fine, and you know. She's, um, about says, some lady, some lady, uh, some lady named Scarlet Winters, like an action judge, ran in with her titties out. What the hell? It's yeah. crazy. Man. <laughs> There's a fucking wild down there. People are freaks. Yep. But uh, you know, I think uh, Winsong, she's all about that free the nipple shit. You know. Is it cool if you drop me on the GPS? You know? Yeah, I'll, I'll drop but it. Back. Thank you very much. Anyway, um. I don't know. I, I don't know what the fuck Marty's on about. I think he's upset I robbed them, but it's got nothing to do with you. So. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'll try my best to remain neutral in this matter. <laughs> I'm curious to know what he thinks he's. Yeah, he, I'll, he I'll, thinks I'll... he's got me for treason. I I called him a hole monitor. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I, look, look, All look, right. look, look. I I will let you know what he says. All right. Sounds good. See All right. Later. Love you. Thank you so much, man. Hey, no problem. Have a good day and stay safe, sir. You too. <laughs> Sandy across ammunition. What up? Yo, you pulling up? Yeah, like 20 seconds. Okay. Alright, alright, you should. Okay. I gotta write some legislation, dude. <laughs> I don't think I have to write that much, though. I forget. What up? Mr. Max. Mr. What Max. Up? What up? What up? Listen, I got something for you. All right? Okay. So, uh, have you ever heard of a uh, wind song or a Sonya Summers or Jesse Adler? All of them. You know them well? So I, I had some he beef with Sonya for a while, <clears throat> Jesse Adler, and we kind of smoothed it over, so we're cool now. Wind Song <laughs> has, has been screaming at me on a microphone for the past fucking God knows how long about uh, your law suck, your law suck. She's been protesting me, man. Right. So I got something for you. Um, kind of adds on to that a little bit, right? So mm -hmm. there was an issue where... Sonia Summers and Jesse Adler came up to literally my house right there, right? Yeah. And they robbed us. Like and in your house? Soon... No, 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 just right outside, right? On our property, even worse. And, mm. Yeah, like, you know, like on our front lawn, right? And yeah. so Larry and Azazel came back home and then they dipped out once they saw them. And um, as they were driving off, I fucking shot out their uh, tire <laughs> and and chased them down, right? And they, they dipped into the water, this, is that, a bunch of shit was happening. Then all of a sudden, the Sandy truck's coming all the way up north, up north here to the beach, trying to pick up some people. A Sandy right? truck? And then, yeah, Sandy and it turns, truck. Out, it turns out to be Winsong, right? So oh. I want to see if, if Winsong's involved or not, just to confirm it. I'm looking through her phones, right? See how I say phones? Plural. She yeah. got two phones. Wait, who? One of Winsong? Them, Winsong. One of mm -hmm. them seems to be a burner phone. Mm -hmm. and, and the text mm -hmm. here, let me, let me, let me, let me put this in card in. Just read them the out loud. <laughs> There's only two texts sent. I got sent, two right? boat. And, huh? 
What the hell? Yeah, it was a little, it was a little wonky, man. <clears throat> I, 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 I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be totally honest. I see Winsong as kind of like a cartoon villain. I'm not really sweating whatever she's got on the I table. I feel the same way about Jamal. Oh my god. Yeah. Wait, you're not gonna sweat this out? Well, I, I'm just saying, I, I'm not, oh, I'm not worried about Winsong because she, she it's like, be, be, really before bad. doing anything like treason or whatever, she'll probably smoke weed and like have sex with everybody or some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, her aspirations right. aren't that big. Can we get a sidebar? Mary, do we just keep using this for ransom then and just say fuck this shit? Well, okay. I can, I, can, I, can, I, I, I can hear you guys. <laughs> make this a really, yeah, I can hear you. We're sidebar. But I can hear you. It's not a sidebar, but I can hear you. It's not a sidebar. It's a sidebar right now, bro. Fine, fine, fuck, fine. shit, damn. Close your ears. Yeah. I'm not listening. Oh, damn. So, <laughs> okay, what if we just extort him? Like, like, <laughs> how do we extort him? Be like, the one committing treason. Okay, but we have somebody that is committing treason. And if he don't give a fuck. But my thing is, it's gonna be like my life in jeopardy. Oh my god, somebody help me, please. I need to find the host trying but, to kill but, me. As he's getting like blow darts going like being thrown at him through the window while he's in his castle and shit. He's gonna want to know the names of the people that's trying to kill him. But we got the names. We got them right we here. know who's trying right to kill now. him. We can extort him and get money. We, money, money. We are the extorters. Dollar, but, <laughs> but, but, but isn't, but, wait. Okay, but here's the thing. If we extort him, right, and he gives us the money, uh -huh. what's stopping right. him as a fucking mayor to land on the lawn just fucking whipping his fucking big-ass fucking government cock out and just slapping him across his face? And us? He wouldn't do that. We have him. He's not close enough to, like, being, like, you know, out of his p power of position. He's I'll got like power. This. He wouldn't do that to power. Jamal, so, and I'm friends with Jamal, so he wouldn't do that to me. All right, yep. All right, and I'm yep. friends with you, so... And then boom, so everybody yep. wins. Hey, what uh, up? Mr. Max, Are you guys done? <laughs> yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna need a hundred thousand dollars in cash from you. I yes, don't yes. have that much money. Are you serious? All right. You think this is a game? No, sidebar, I don't. Sidebar, I sidebar, sidebar, sidebar. How much money, How much money you got? How much money you got? How much money you got? Mm. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, excuse me. What? Unsidebar. How much money you got? Or do you know what I got? Five thousand bucks. <laughs> All right. Sidebar. Let's your paycheck. Here's five k. I just bought a house, guys. Mean, that's more than me, bro. <laughs> bro, I just bought a house. We're gonna do five thousand dollars. I lost more than five thousand dollars when they bought me, bro. Fuck <laughs> the house, bro. <laughs> okay, what do we do? What do we how, do? About, how about how about he just he just gives us a house up here? Boom. Yeah. He doesn't have money. He can't do that. I can't. He can't do that. He can't do that. This guy can't even unlock the door. Sidebar. 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 Okay. I'm in. Yeah, guys, I can't. I can't just give you a house. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, look, I'm sorry, man. It's just not how it works. <laughs> we got good evidence, though. It's good. This, this, we saving your life. Look, we're listen. Like the secret service we're saving right your now. Life, bro. Listen. Uh -huh. listen. Let me. Let me. Let me. Uh -huh. Let me show you the text, bro. Oh, you okay. gotta hear it. Give him one. Give nine, him a little tease. Nine mm -hmm. days ago, we got a text, uh -huh. and it's a, re a receiving, not sending. Okay. It says, "Tell me about the resistance." And the R is capitalized. That means uh, it's a group, the an name. entity. That's the name. Right? Noun. And they replied, the, the wind song presumably, says, we are organizing and showing the government that they cannot pass laws oh. without pushback from the people. Be ready for instructions. Welcome to the revolution. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, man, look, I don't know, man. Shit. Hey, they robbed you? The <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm down 4.5k. I'm trying to get that money back, bro. I'll just give you 5k. Give me this phone. No, no, no. How about this? Because you don't give a fuck. I do. I do. I do. Unless you want me to bring it to the You know, maybe we should, guys, maybe, guys, sidebar. Let's maybe we should bring it to the captain. Let's, Let's go to Slack. Let's go to the captains of the PD. Yeah. Let's go to the captains. Okay, now. Yeah, do that. Do that. No, no, no. That's a good idea. Wait, 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 yeah. All right, this is the deal. We want gun licenses. Uh, okay. Ooh, now, right now, 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 that's right a good now. bargain. That's a good bargain. Ooh. Come on. I'm gonna right now. I can't just, I, first of all, I can't I'm even legal. issue licenses. I can't give them to you. What good okay. are you? What can, what Dude, can you do, I'm trying to get the power to do it, man. What can? What is in your power? Hmm. Hmm. 
Are you a co are you guys cops? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm hearing, I'm hearing a lot of no's and a couple yeses. Am I a cop? <laughs> he isn't. We are. Yes. Us three are. I'm just hoodies. a musician. All hoodies are cops. Oh, We're I know. Cops. Guys, I can name a park after you. Is that cool? Which park? I don't know. Whatever. Which one? What? Which park do you want? The one on Grove Street. Word. It, right next to the Mosley's. What do you want? What do you want to call it? G block. No, Larry block. No, no, o no, block. no, 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 no. <laughs> o block. Oh. <laughs> hey, we ain't calling it that. Okay, G block. Hey, we ain't calling it that. <laughs> zero block. Zero block. Zero All right, block. sure. Yeah. But, but it, there has to be a sign that has a number zero. And they get a gun. Block. And everyone that lives there gets a gun. Yep. The founders of that park get a gun. The founders get a gun. You guys didn't find the park. It's just named after you. <laughs> okay, wait. That's all we can get? A fucking park? I, I mean... And 5k, right? Look, I'll just give you 5k, man. That, that's more than you want. Okay. <laughs> Alright, how about <sighs> this? No, no, no. I got it, I got it, I got it. You rename Mirror Park to Marty Park. Marty Park? I like that, I like that, I like that. Rename Mirror Park I'm glazing, to Marty I'm glazing, Park. I'm glazing Marty Park. I like that. MP, MP, like MP. Like 2k24. I like that. It's also an M too, so it kind of works. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Deal? Deal. All right. Perfect. Shake on it. Shake on Marty it. Your part. Grabs your hand. <laughs> or just grab my hand, fucking weirdo. Uh. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, yeah, let's, go. Go. let's go! Okay, shit. All right, give me the five. Right, <laughs> now give me my five bands. All right, hold up. I'm, do I'm doing this for the streets. Okay. And for Marty Park. Yeah, for Marty Park. Marty Park. I'm gonna hold you to it. It will happen eventually. <laughs> I'll be right back. That shit ain't happening. <laughs> that shit ain't happening, dude. <laughs> Is there any team over here? Dude. I got two phones. Blind? Hello? Wait, you guys see it? Go uh, finalize the park thing. Right. Okay, we'll be here. No, we're not going. If I anywhere. die, it was the mayor. If I die, it was the mayor. That. We're, we're not, if I wake we're, up, we're, we're if not, I wake up, I'm not going with water in my mouth. Look in the Set glove box. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? There's a car. Hey! What are you talking about? <laughs> it's a it's nice ass car. Hey, give me that phone. Give me the phone. What's up, Kev? I have not seen. What's good, Kev? Give me the phone. I'll go over. Real quick. 
You hey, get the phone when, the, when Mir Park is named Martin Park. No, I need, I need it now. When I it's named Martin Park, and look, I see it, I'm like, look, yes, my, bro, my promise phone, is that bro. I will start working on it, okay? Get it in writing. I will, today. All right, now, yeah, get it in writing, and you get the phone, bro. Give me you the phone. You don't realize what just happened. We got Anyone treason. got a trailer they want to sell? You committed treason. I didn't commit treason! <laughs> what are you talking you about? Hey, so if you want bro, 68. Give me the, bro, give me nah, the phone. You, nah. Give me the phone. You want the phone? I, the phone. I need it in writing. Okay, I'm going to write it as soon as we're done here. All right, see, if you weren't, if you stopped yelling at me so much, if you took 10 seconds to just write it real quick, <laughs> this would have been done already. Uh -oh. You don't have to bicker back and I'm forth. I'm not trying to yell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, well, all right. So block, <laughs> really your phone, bad. you can type it up. It's still valid. Oh my god, all right, here we go. <laughs> all right. M Mira Park will be renamed to Marty Park, effective immediately. Make a state oh announcement. God. <laughs> well, state announcement will be good. How much you pay him, big dog? All right, yeah, I'll do a little state announcement. Fuck it. All right. Marty Park. Yo, Marty, That's you right, guys. any of those uh, trailers? Um, not for sale, no. <laughs> Hey, if yeah. you know anyone else that has one, let them know well, I'm in the market, so I might buy it off them. I'll give like, cash and I'll, I'll pay more than what it's worth. Like, so if someone bought those for like 100, you should probably pay like 150 area? Mm, or what? A little less? A little less than that, maybe like uh, 125. Uh, I'll ask <laughs> Boom. Uh, Ooh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, hey, a deal's a deal. <laughs> Guys, I got a park named after me. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, hey, congrats, congrats, man. Well, you there just you started uh -huh. his ass. <laughs> well, no, he committed treason with Sonya, uh, Sonya Jesse Adler, <gasps> and Winsong. No, I didn't! <laughs> yeah, Can't that's be. now your problem, not mine. There what the go. fuck is car. happening? Uh, fuck, man. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> treasonous. Hey, uh, treasonous. Terrorist. Treasonous. Are you hopping in? Mm. Yeah, actually, I talked about something. Word. Damn. I don't believe nothing. Don't worry. Gomer. Yeah, Yo, Missy, so how you doing? All right. Is this warden shit with Bobby Charles and uh, Carmine Rio? Are we up. Yep. <laughs> also, I've been talking to them. We're making uh, we're making the, we're making the prison a uh, completely lawless zone. <laughs> oh my god! I want them to be one. I really do. Yep. And uh, oh, I wanna, Mike, I'll call, I Mike, I'll call you right back. Okay. Right. I want to work with them in the prison. I want to be uh, one of their gods. Yeah. All right, let's go to Morty Park, guys. They, they can hire Later. whoever they want. We, really? It's completely, right. you, completely hands off. There's only one so, rule of bowling Brook. Yeah. Yeah. That if someone sentences up and they say I want to leave, you gotta let them leave. That's it. Yeah, you can't. Okay, you can't hold people there. Yeah, yep. Exactly. That's it. That's it. Okay. So as, as long as this meeting with them goes good today. Yeah. I, I, I heard that they've been working on like SOPs and shit. So I mean, the, what happens if someone dies in the prison? They, they, um, there's a medical place on location. <laughs> what if they die? People die in prison all the time. Oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry. Like, look, if they die, it's really not our fucking problem. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest. It's really <laughs> it's we, we, we we don't give a shit. I'm gonna be real. Fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah, I get it. Okay, this is really good news. Really good news. Oh, <sighs> if you know anyone that's selling a trailer, let me know. I'm in the market. A trailer? Yeah, I'm trying to buy a trailer. They're all bought out. Oh, I I, I bought a trailer, but I can't sell it right now. <sighs> the other cheapest house is 196. Where is that? Uh, Fudge Lane, I think. Wait, don't you already have like have houses? Yeah, but I'm looking for a nice little cheap uh, side spot. You know what I mean? Word. So what do you what you guys get up to right now? Oh, we just came up here for that and just ran into a bunch of people. Word. <coughs> yeah, this, yeah, this, Sandy popping. Yeah, Sandy actually is popping right now, guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking lie. I know all the all the real estate's bought up. I was surprised. Yo, we're, th we're throwing a block party in like uh, a couple of days. Oh shit, I'll be there, I'll be there. Yep. Alright, I gotta I got I got to drive away, but I'm afraid to back up because of the uh, propane tank <laughs> behind <Not again>. me. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you. Hello. Okay, they're letting punks extort you. The way, the way I see it, we don't really have a use for our money, so. We'll give it to the boys. What? 
Sim card off. Check it. I'm really, really not concerned with Woods. <laughs> Sim card I dropped. Uh, right here. Hanging, slanging, dick. Maybe we could make it taking trips. Maybe I was thinking too impatient. Phone rang. Oh, wait, we're going to check it. Death note. Wait, what's right here? Another sim card and rum. <laughs> Yo. Oh, number back. Yeah, good, good. I was, I, I assume so, based on Marty's fucking thing there. Yeah. I just want to say, well, well, fucking played, man. Well played, fucking. <laughs> I don't, what do you mean? I don't even know what's happening, man. I don't know what's happening. Well, well played, man. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> I would, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, they, they're trying to kill triple war veteran John Mirror, dude. <laughs> trying to kill triple war veteran who? <laughs> A fucking state announcement. They said it's on-site John Mirror. <laughs> 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 Holy fuck. Uh, all right, well, if they give you any more trouble, you let me know, all right, man? Fuck, fuck that shit. I don't like people bullying you around like that. I don't like that at all, man. That's not good. Yeah, look, I see it this way, all right? You know, they're acting tough because that's their nature or whatever. At the end of the day, uh, Max is for the streets, and I know that yeah. they, I, I know that they need that money more than I do. So, I, I you know, it's a, a, little, a little tomfoolery, perhaps. But yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, a little minor bump in the road. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> you know, if they just asked for the money, I would have given it to them. But, you know, there's just like, it, it's like they were flirting with me, essentially. There's just like extra Well, how steps. much money's on the table here we talking about? Oh, I just gave them 5K. Oh. Just for funsies. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, they're just funsies. Throw, <laughs> throwing five grand around. Yeah, mayor money. Yeah, I guess that's good. Uh, yep. Yep. 
All right. The moonshine have been treating me good, I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah, how much money you got? Yeah, I got like 70 grand now. Whoa, do you have a house? Nope. Well, I mean, I live with Kay and all the boys. Yeah, why the fuck is he looking for a trailer right now if he's got all those houses? Hey, I don't know. He hasn't really spilled beans on that little side up. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so we, I think he just wants something up in Sandy. Yeah, Sandy's lit right now, dog. Yeah, all the moonshine is up there right now. My wife has attached crucifixes to every window to ward away uh, Vingal, Dan. We would have a Vingal. Was that that crazy fucking guy? Uh, we transgressed against him by pulling weapons on him, and then he's been kind of after us ever since. You pulled weapon on him, and now he's after you. Yeah, he was he was acting sus. He was like kind of like shuffling, I mean, shuffling behind us and shit. So we, I was like, "Look, pull your weapons out." <laughs> Yep. Yep. Any reason, right? Yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah, that dude's born at the devil, ain't he? Yeah. No. Uh, I mean, uh, according to according to Glorion, he was conjured from hell. I mean, obviously, you know, demons aren't real. <laughs> yeah, no, right? nobody believe that. Yeah, right? they're not real, right, Gomer? <laughs> they ain't real unless he. I mean, you fucking piss me off. I'll show you the devil. That's right. Uh, yeah, don't worry about those guys, though. We're, we're basically homies. All right, yeah, yeah, good. Oh. Mm. What? Oh, boy. This. Oh, I hear him. Yeah, I, 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 I just yeah. took the school of Rami driving. I heard him. I heard him go, whoop. <laughs> you heard that, though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look, I got yeah, to go. Like, I got, all right, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, good shit. I got two. Four. One, 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 is there anything I have so far in the meantime? Just tell me if you want me to wait. It's all good. Uh, first, let us work on getting the LSPD squared away. LSO presentation in one to two weeks from now. I got two. Oh. Yup. What's good? I just wanted to double check what the Mirror Park thing was about. Also, we I just uh, had a conversation with Ruby. Ruby York? Ish. <clears throat> about what? Uh, just an uh, audit thing. How'd it go? Great. She's, uh... Hoggers. I don't know. I, I, she's great. Like... Yep. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, good news. Uh-huh. Uh, I will be announcing the commissioner tonight. Ooh. Is it still commissioner? It will be. I, I'm going to try and have it uh, revised at the meeting and stuff. I'm just going to change the wording a bit. I feel like it shouldn't be an issue, right? Like, in, in theory... Wait, how does the... I, I can't even... Wait, no, I'm... Wait, am I saying... I'm saying... How is the wording again? Because couldn't you just, in theory, just not do a commissioner and just do a chief of police? You mean like uh, as it's written now? I I have the power to just choose the chief of police. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, I just want to keep everything above board because these fucking Weasley little snakes will find any reason to cry about it. Yeah. <clears throat> mm, yeah, that's fair. Are you worried that if we try and reword it, that they're gonna try to have other shit reworded? Yeah, I I'm pretty confident that will be the case. Um, okay. what we can do is it, uh, first I will bring to the table a, uh, my revision, which is to change commissioner to chief of police. Uh, and that, that's it. And then if they try to revise it from there, we'll just say no. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we should. Like it, the fact is that you can, you can just big dick them and just not have their opinion, but you want it to be above the board or, or you want to, you know, oh. want to be transparent with it. You know what we could so. do? You know what we could do? I, talk, okay. I talked to Slacks last night, uh, and mm -hmm. I, I told him about my intention to rename uh, Commissioner Chief. I, th I think, you know, it, it, in my investigation and, and what I've heard from the auditors and what I heard from Lance, I talked to Lance, too. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, uh, renaming this should be pretty easy because Lance agrees with me 100%. But, God, who, who fucking knows what he, he's going to try and tack onto that? But um, if we get Slacks in that meeting and he's like, listen, um, yeah agree then it should be pretty easy to, to revise it like this is just like a matter of formality though at this point <clears throat> i feel like if you have slacks there in the first place and if, if you guys are on got kind of good terms as well that's also going to go over 
better because I feel like from the last meeting, people just expect like their expectations or their view is just that you you you're loud and the captains are bad, etc. Mm -hmm. When that is not the case. Yeah. No. Uh, I've been talking to Slacks a lot. We're working really well together, actually. <clears throat> yeah. That's it's fucking crazy to me, like that. It's funny, like the people that that get it get it. Like Ruby gets it. Like the way that she explained. So basically, one of the questions were that, like, what do you think of the mayor's office right now, right? Mm -hmm. And she was like, I don't disagree with anything Max does. It's just the way that he delivers it. She doesn't agree with, and, which is. <laughs> I guess that's it's fair. true it's because, you, yeah, your delivery is not to everybody's taste, mm -hmm. but it gets the point across and it ruffles some feather in the progress, which means that you can see how PD is kind of scattering now because shit is now being brought up, which before they were just sitting on their fucking ass and their ass and doing nothing. And no one could get any information about what they were doing at all. So they were content to do nothing. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm I'm a little abrasive. I'll admit it. You know, that's just kind of yeah, that's kind of how I am because I'm afraid if I'm more meek about it when I'm talking to people that they'll try to weasel their way out of what I'm trying to get across. So I don't know. It's just hmm. something I'm working on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. People, my, from my, my my understanding is that the narrative has been pushed that we are trying to we're trying not to help. Uh, they're seeing the worst in things instead of the best in things, mm -hmm. and they're they're worried for some reason that we're gonna not make pd improve i mean it's already I it already I, improved quite a bit i mean honestly it hasn't really been i mean you could argue that it's not our doing that it has improved but i mean before this whole movement started they were doing nothing and then all of a sudden they crawled out of the fucking holes like croc cockroaches to get out and actually yeah. get their ass and do stuff so yes and that's <laughs> after they got called out which is the the thing so in theory it is your doing by just bringing it up in the first place our doing mike our doing our doing uh <laughs> I also realized that there's a lot of like telephone shit going on, which is also not helping. But that's also always the case in this city. Uh, what's being telephoned the worst right now? Uh, uh, specifically the meeting, like you had with the with, with the captains. Yeah, <laughs> people didn't. People apparently had the assumptions that you were pushing the legislations, and then you talked to the captains. I talked to them before. Is, yeah, exactly. And that's what I told him. Like, yeah, but that's not what it came across. Like, so people are pushing the narrative that we're just doing whatever the fuck we want. And then, you know, then we're including the, the, the PD. It's like, mm, that's not how that works. Yeah. We, we, we talked to them. And then, yes, it went to shit because somebody made a dumb comment they shouldn't have made in the first place. But there was a talk. And we're not just doing things all willy nilly. I mean, to their, to, uh, to play devil's advocate and to their credit, um, mm -hmm. It was the night before the council meeting, so... <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> they didn't have much time to react. No, but that's also, like you said, you tried to reach out. And unfortunately, some people was had a leave of absence. And again, I don't hold it against people when, mm -hmm. when they can. So it is what it is. And you tried. And, you know, it was the day before whatever it happens. So... Yeah. All right. Well, uh, other than that... I've, are, you, are, you, think, are you presenting anything tonight? Uh, I don't think I have too much. Let me tell you a good look. Burr, burr. No, uh, I think that the shit we talked about yesterday quickly is like the only thing that I'm really worried about. I haven't really looked too much into having any new le legislations, but I should probably do that. I know people have brought things. Uh, I think I've been too focused on the PD stuff to be honest. What is bipping? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like everyone's been kind of focused on that. Yeah, well, it's a shit show, so... Well, I don't know. I, don't know if, I wouldn't say it's a shit show. It's just people are too fucking... Doom spiraling and, and too worried about nothing, I'd say. That That's kind of the uh, the way of the way of Los Santos, I've noticed. Yep. I'm not a doom spiraler. <laughs> mm, neither am I. You, you know what's funny is... When they when they doom spiral, like the first time around, I was like, "Have every has anyone even talked to Max? Who who is everyone? Right? Because no one has talked to me. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Like before <laughs> we it was presented, it was like, okay, you guys are doom spiraling about something that Max put in wording before talking to Max about it. And then by 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 them, I mean that was like everybody that was reading it. Nakoda, Cantor, Cantra, Cantor, Cantor, mm -hmm. uh, Etta, et cetera, et cetera. It's like, yep, okay. Yeah, does it look bad? Maybe. Have you talked to Max about his actual like intent? No. 
they're not interested in talking to me, man. <laughs> they're, not, they're, they're not interested I, I, in talking to the, the mayor's office as a whole. <clears throat> mm, is that the general people, or you mean those those people specifically? Those people. Okay. Honestly, I mean they're they're kind of cut from the same cloth. That it, look, they're I see people like like Cantor, like Etta, like Dakota. They're all mm -hmm. the same kind of person to me. They're 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 like faceless homunculi of people who are just so content to sit there and do nothing and push their their agenda for the status quo. That I I, I like I'll like look if I'm sitting at the table for example, you know mm -hmm. I'll look to my right I'll see you. You got your brilliant shining white hair. You're you're a man of regal stature. You know I I look I look to my right I see my wife with her flaming red hair. I look across even across the table at Alan Crane. I can see wisdom incarnate. And then apart from that, it's just kind of. I mean, Lance kind of flickers in and out, but they're mainly just kind of like mannequins to me, man. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens today. I, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, too. Uh, and I think just just overall, I think the audits has been great. Uh, so. Oh, yeah. What, what's Jenny's uh, synopsis? I mean, has she talked to you about it at all? Mm, no, she hasn't condensed. Uh, how many pages are you at now, Jenny? Huh? The TLDR is what? Oh, did I fucking tell you that Ada embezzled like three hundred thousand dollars? By the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, you mentioned it yesterday. Okay, all right, I couldn't remember. Yeah, fuck I... that. Don't bring that up unless uh she tries to like do some shit to me or to our act. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. Wait, what did you say, Jenny? I'm sorry. How many pages do we have? Seventy pages? Did you say? 70? Seven pages. Oh, okay. All right. My wife uh, has like 50 pages right now. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> it's, uh, ma it's mainly just transcriptions of our, our conversation, so it's not like like a dissertation. It's just kind of like, you know, she'll write her thoughts in little bullet points and then kind of like writes what they said. <clears> yeah. <throat> uh, I think just from the few times I've been around, like the, the general consent is kind of the same across the board, so. Yeah. Uh, I I got a feeling uh, we're about to witness a true rebirth of the LSPD. <clears throat> yes, and I'm looking forward to it. Same. I gotta get writing. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Well, I'll see you in three, four hours. Three. Wait, four. Three hours. No, four. Four hours. Four. Okay. Okay. Love, right. you, love yep. you. <clears throat> I got two phone. One phone up, plug and one phone up, boom. I got two phone. <laughs> Check Twitter. Oh wait, Larry. Larry fucking texted me. Am I going to switch to these quarters as soon as possible? Oh, we gotta ghost him, guys. They're gonna f me up. They're gonna freaking f me up, dude. <laughs> We gotta duck the boys for a little bit. Hold on. I'll be right back. One sec. Check Twatter for John Mirror. Wait. <laughs> Gurgle, what kind of beans is a burnt beans? Gurgle open Gurgle Maps restaurant. It's <laughs> near me. <laughs> yeah, someone made John Mirror. <laughs> I'll be right back. One sec.
I'm freaking back, dude. Frenzy, thanks for subbing. Clip. Still reach. I thought, hey, no. Where's John Mirror? Huh? Where's John Mirror? <laughs> Tell me what you fucking know about John Mirror right now, <laughs> bitch. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. Oopsie mama. Finish it. Tell me what you fucking know about Jamira right now. Bitch. Take your shit. John Mirror car, 100%. That, that That's, his car. Mirror's That's car. his car. It's his car. It's his car. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. John Mirror's car right here. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. He's, he's right here? Okay. Yeah, it's John Mirror's car. <laughs> you John? Fuck you, John? Hey, you know where John be? Ring, ring, ring. Hello? What the deal? I got two phones, one for the plug and one for the load. I got two phones, one for the beaches and one for the dog. Think I need two more. Lamp popping, I'm ring, ring, ring. Count money while they ring, ring, ring. Trap jumping, I'm ring, ring, ring. I got two phones, one for the plug and one for the load. I got two phones, one for the beaches and one for the dog. Think I need two more. Lamp popping, I'm ring, ring, ring. Count money while they ring, ring. Oh my god, I'm gorgeous. I just put the key inside my pocket pocket. Might not get to see it. This a new Ferrari man in the mirror. I you choose to bother someone say to call it. I don't feel like talking. Everything could get returned the way I bought it. Phone be interrupting me while I'm recording. Phone be making women feel a young important. Call my doggy, say it's all the way retarded. Keep the all cause I am not using the form in kitchen. I just finished up a new perform. Hey to wish you well. I got clientele. I just got it off the scale. I got two. For the plug and one for the load. I got two phones, one for the beaches and one for the dog. Think I need two more. Land popping, I'm ring, ring, ring. Count money while they ring, ring, ring. Trap jumping, I'm ring, ring, ring. I got two phones, one for the plug and one for the load. I got two phones, one for the beaches and one for the dog. Think I need two more. Land popping, I'm ring, ring, ring. Count money while they ring, ring, ring. Trap jumping. 
Wait. All they want to know is what I got to give. How much did I spend? What I got to lean? What I did? We forgot to check the SIM card. Coming in somewhere on a rim section door. Oh, was nowhere by a gym. Dropping by the spin. I'm supplying 10. Jumping out of Honda. I have an idea. Asking what I cop. None of your concern. One day you gonna learn what you trying to get. Everything gonna sell. Going out of business. Rockers up in jail. Gotta feed the kids. You can run the city. You know what it is. Wait, she might not have her phone. Calling cell? You have her SIM card? No, she, this is her burner phone SIM card. I am going to kill you. Dude, there's nothing on here. <laughs> There's nothing on here, dude. <laughs> Bruh. Thanks for the 5k, dog. He told you there was two texts on it? Bro, I'm, I literally don't care. Hang on. But I'm out. I got two oh. Why didn't she pick it up? I just want you to be aware, uh, Marty Banks and his pack of um, friends are on their way to your office. They're demanding a meeting with you and John Muir. <laughs> um, who the fuck is John Muir? <laughs> I don't know. You wait, put wait, 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 wait. You mean three-time war veteran John Muir? <laughs> yep. Yeah, the one you mentioned in the state announcement. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. One of his yeah. rel relatives called me and they were like, My grandpa earned that namesake. And I was like, All right, fine. I was, I was giving you a heads up that if uh, <laughs> there's there's like four miscreants about to storm your office, yeah. demanding a meeting with you and yeah. Yeah, look, veteran John Muir. Time to avoid City Hall for a little bit. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Norman. Figured to let you know, sir. Yeah. <laughs> RP. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we will eventually cross paths here. Refuels in Mirror Park. Dude, we're looking for John Mirror, dog. We're looking for John Mirror right now. Song name? Uh, 26 minutes in this video. God, we thanks for subbing. Hi. Hey, babe. Uh, I listen to people argue outside your office. Yeah. Um, are you in City Hall right now? Literally in my office, just finished doing all the fun things with the Excel sheet. 
Uh, are you... Is your door locked? <laughs> no, should I lock it? Yeah. <laughs> I had the crucifix outside. I thought that would just keep the... Okay, I locked it. Okay. Also, notice the crucifixes at the trailer. Very nice touch. I mean, necessary? Necessary. necessary. All the windows. Yep. And on the outside, too. <laughs> yep. Very, yep. very thorough work, my darling. Thank you. Thank you. Trying to keep us safe from evil demons because we... We got a lot of work to do. Okay, so... Um... Marty Banks and his uh, gang of miscreants are at City Hall currently because I named a park after them. And then I said that a guy named John Mirror it was named after. And then I re renamed it to, jo to Mirror Park again. And then. I saw uh, those seat announcements. Yeah. So they're, they want a meeting with me and John Mirror. But the, the truth of the matter is, uh, I made John Mirror up. <laughs> But, oh, uh, but I saw him on Twitter. Yeah, he's real. So maybe, maybe we were, maybe I was onto something with the uh, second state announcement. Maybe he is a triple war veteran. Well, there you go. Yeah, I mean, he, so I saw someone, did, did he find you? Because he said he was gargling trying to find you. Yeah, I think he was typing into Twitter by accident. <laughs> oh, because he's so old. Yeah, yeah, he might be a triple war veteran then. Yep. Yep. Um, that's um. Yeah, well, that's well, that's ex unexpected. Yep. So you literally made somebody open. It turned out they were real. Yeah, well, isn't that like a certain kind of like social effect? What is that? Like Mandela effect? It's, is that what you're thinking of? <laughs> it might actually be Mandela effect. <laughs> Where you say something that's like wrong, and then it becomes like people's memory and modern culture. Except in this case, it turned out he was actually real and not wrong at all. <laughs> Yeah, we Mandela affected John Mirror. <laughs> Into existing. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, wait, it's quiet now. Are they gone? Just lock your door and wait, My, wait, it's half, locked. wait half an hour before leaving. <laughs> okay, all right, that's what I'll do. I mean, I'm, um, I just got like the data to look really pretty and, and, and saved it because first time that I tried to do this, I got it really pretty. I was making the pivot table when it crashed, and then I had to start Ooh. it over again because I hadn't saved it, and I'm really upset about that. Wait, what program so, are you using? Excel. Are you, is your plan Actu to take... Actual Excel. Are you going to make, like, a report and then put the pictures in there? Uh-huh. Nice. Good. Yeah, I just did the timestamp conversion from Unicode into, like, actual normal people data. Oh. So, um, I took, like, two formulas. Uh... And then I'm gonna start working on like the pivot tables for like probably the whatever the most useful way to see the information is. I'm gonna like uh, go from like transaction types so we can actually see how much revenue we're gaining from different things. Wait, that's a fucking great idea. I know. This is this is some thing I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this CSV that you sent me. I'd been waiting a long time to be able to play Holy. with this data and put it into like meaningful you know, meaningful actual information as opposed to just uh, the giant massive dump of data that it is. That's why you are the chief of staff, darling. I, uh, you know, I didn't really want this for myself per se, um, but I'm really glad that you did make me your chief of staff because I'm really having the best time. Good, I'm glad. I was worried that it would detract from your true love, the law. Not at all. Oh, I actually had a really cool court case um, that I watched last night with uh, that Norman Adams did that speaking on that topic and he brought up something in his verdict at the end that I thought was important for us, what? for our purposes, because um, this case was essentially about like sort of qualified immunity, right? Did, did, um, is, it, is it real now? It is. It, it, ish. Ish. So um, here's how the courts are looking at it. Uh, they're looking at duty of care and good faith, right? Which essentially is qualified immunity. So if you're operating in good faith as an officer and you don't violate your duty of care, then you should be protected by qualified immunity is essentially what Norman said. However, he also did state that, you know, um, within their, within the police's current uh, part of unit operating procedures based on what Slack testified to on the stand, um, he also advocated that it should probably be changed in the future, especially based on what's presented here today specifically. And then he was like, Shabon, let me talk to you about that audit actually in regards to this after because they should cover this. Um, whether or not, like if people are in a vehicle that could blow up 
Should they be left allowed there? I mean, the answer's no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The answer's no. Yeah, the answer is no. How the fuck? Exactly. How the fuck do you justify something like qualified immunity for a group of people who willingly and willfully allowed someone they had detained and in handcuffs to explode in their damaged car? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying now. It was based on what Slack said about how this was within their, um, that they are not required to. Also because of fucking, Jonathan said, no, people who should not be driving smoking vehicles, they can explode, but they, uh, defense did a good job, Grace did, of bringing in another mechanic, right? An, um, a dissenting expert opinion, as it were, who was like, I've seen hundreds of smoking cars and only three of them have ever exploded. There's um, a different kind of, like, you know when your car is going to explode. Like, you, engines can smoke. It had caught on fire. Yeah. That's kind of like the the thing. <laughs> Indicator, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and and they were still being warned multiple times. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, Beb. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write up and work on what I got. You do your thing. I'm going to continue working on my Excel stuff, and we'll reconvene later. Yep. Love you. All right. I love you. Call you when it's done. Oh, we gotta call John Muir. Hold up. Just kidding. We're not actually gonna do work. <laughs> I saw a fucking Temporarily. <laughs> Ooh. Conversation will be able to say the LSPD right now uses uh, commissioner slash GOP that is mostly an admission role push for the vision of the LSPD. I agree with this, but however, the LSPD right now also needs a strong field leader who can galvanize the troops and be seen as a face of the LSPD. It's my belief that if the LSPD has a face to it, then as opposed to being seen as another government institution, will become more personable and that that will increase the public's opinion of the LSPD as well as increase general morale of the blah, blah, blah. I recommend you be at Ruby York to fulfill the administrative styled COP commissioner role and Jeffrey Bones to fulfill the field leader. Make no determination as to which of these two would be better. Uh, I also add that I think whoever of the above is not chosen should be the assistant. I believe that a commissioner slash COP, blah, blah, however, it can be certainly encouraged that each one of the above uh, picks the other. Both are in shift two. Yep. We're pretty much on the same page here. Pretty much. The vast majority of LEO is just a problem with the DAP system. While no system is perfect, DAP system uh, could certainly be improved. The DAP system is not causing systemic issues in the LSPD. Regardless, high command is actively making changes to the DAP system. Okay. Chain of command is fucked. There's no other way to say it. My recommendation is to get one sergeant in shift one and shift two at least two weeks ago. Since that is a possible, I recommend shift one and shift two hold sergeant interviews ASAP. I think they're already doing that. I think I know that uh, on Lenny. <clears throat> Do I believe shift three needs to start at the time the numbers are on the toilet? <laughs> uh, with fully recommend line up with normalizing things. Command position should be reviewed slash rotated every 90 days to show new people are rising with new ideas. Uh, okay. People aren't holding out of positions forever. General recommendations, high command should not be afraid to delegate things like dispatch slash receptionist to officers or to civilians who are passionate about leading it. So allow those departments to be flushed out, blah, blah, blah. Since those numbers are low and there's a lot of work to go around, it is better for someone passionate to push out a generation one version of a division slash department that isn't perfect, but can still be improved over time. Most officers feel they can give important internal feedback and it will be taken serious. This is good. However, most officers feel that they never hear back on their feedback, which is bad. Sorry, senior sergeants are able to circle back on feedback. Okay, public perception. LSP is not good at optics. Most likely because all officers are busy and no one has time to community outreach. This leads uh, back into delegation, but the LSPD should get a communications officer. Okay, FTO program, mixed bag. Overall, this is improving high command. It is a, some self-reflection on this program. Does have some problems and bottlenecks, but in my opinion, this is because they start from a low spot. Members are trending... Trending, trending upwards. 
I would recommend that I LSP to Eichmann and keep, with their, uh, keep doing what it's doing. There are bigger problems and this one appears, appears to be solving itself slowly. Okay. There's no doubt crime is happening across the island from raw data. Most of the crime is happening up north. That is happening up north appears to be what I classify as an investiga investigatory nature as opposed to a high priority nature such as robberies. There's a natural question of what should be done in the North Sea. Current LSPD police is that officers can patrol up north if they want and are only expected to come down for an all hands on deck style call. I believe that there should not be another full department such as BCSO at this time. However, this does mean it should be under the LSPD ban. Okay. Uh, sick. Bring, 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 stop and go state. Uh, with consideration to the natural flow of traffic in Los Santos and with special consideration to the awful uh, internal nature of traffic lights and signs uh, scattered about, it is important that the hardworking people of Los Santos are able to arrive at their places of work in a timely manner without being held hostage by an oftentimes uh, malfunctioning traffic light system. It is the uh, state has a keen interest in uh, working around the malfunction uh, during this, henceforth, Los Santos shall be known, uh, seen, known and seen as a stop and go state. Uh, all citizens, Los Santos, merely stop, completely stop at a red light prior to evaluating whether or not they are clear to proceed they should check for oncoming vehicles before proceeding follow the uh, rule of the four-way stop <laughs> Let's clarify what merely completely. All citizens of Los Santos must merely completely stop at a. Oh. True. I didn't need to include that there. Do a little topography. Uh, looks mostly even. <laughs> let's put it in the middle, guys. Now, let's bring it back up. Let's bring it back up. Would it be a two-way stop? It's uneven. Right there, maybe? A green light will always have the right of way. Uh, citizens of Los Santos are... Eh, that's fine. Whatever. <clears throat> um... <laughs> Where we stop and apply, the people who, uh, with the green light are also going to stop at the intersection. Uh, okay, hang on. 
Sure, whatever. That's fine for now. They can elaborate. I, I really... There's a certain way to say this, and I forgot how to say it, so... Uh, police continuity plan... Right here... Suggested revisions. Uh, Max. Uh, on review. Consultation. Consultation with the auditing team. Uh as well as with consideration to mayor's own investigation the LSPD uh, inquiries of the LSPD it was, mm, a common It is believed that a chief of police is presently more is more pressingly needed than a commissioner whose role traditionally is of a more macro uh, political nature. Chief of Police will better serve the hmm current needs of the LSPD these needs must be met in order to ensure that the streets which are presently broiled chaos. Wait, hold on. Hogan's too cool. Thanks for something. Chaos control. And is currently already defined role wise in uh in the LSPD internally. Mm, 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 mm. This first chief of police will be selected by the federal government. Uh, the federal government reserves the right to replace any ineffective or uh, chief of police any the police has the ability to choose their own assistant chief of police okay I think that's good Stop talking. <clears throat> Has the have they already chosen? Yup. I want to announce it at ship three meeting. Mm-hmm. 
Define the role of assistant chief. It's already defined in their SOPs, guys. Queries with the state have yielded a result, uh, a choice for the role of commissioner. Oh, it is understood by the state as well. Mayor's office that this role of commissioner will better serve the city of Los Santos in the future. Hmm. Was the original vision of the mayor's office to determine who among the LSPD would be best suited a final administrative role. The mayor chose commissioner for the, for the name of this role because it sounded cooler. <laughs> better serve the city of Los Angeles in the future. It was the original vision of the mayor's office to determine who among the LSPD would be best suited to a final administrative role eternally. I chose the commissioner because the name it sounded cooler. Okay. Bold LSPD. Yeah, we could. So it is recommended that these investigations and queries be directed in such a way that it will yield a choice of chief of police opposed to the initially Jaeger.
Kaminsky, thanks for it. Hey. Hey, what up? You busy? Uh, not really. Uh, you have time to meet real quick? Yep. Uh, where do you want to be? You pick, man. You know all the, uh, all the cool spots. Do I? Uh, I don't know. Um, what's your ping? Um, mm, 180. All right, I'll ping you in a sec. All right. Go sign in, you unemployed loser. Yeah, I better, man. We shouldn't, uh, <laughs> yeah, totally just editing internal documents without being signed in right now. Now that's powerful. I'm being sarcastic, guys. I'm signed in. I've been signed in this whole stream. No. Call John Mirror? True. What do you mean you have a new outfit? He's already dead. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> I wonder how many people have called it Hardy Way as uh, part of police comms. This tiny little side road right here. Quadruple kill. <laughs> I think I have a repair kit. I do. Monster kill. It's gonna be a shame when I get pinged and I'm repairing my car and I can't access it. And this is my only repair kit. So I have to choose between canceling my only repair kit, which will then disappear, or pick up the phone. Why did Smugboard get disabled in Discord? Did it? Oh yeah, we're still on for tonight. It's gonna be killer. I haven't decided. I think we should start with the milkman never knocks, and then move on to the last blister of Froggy Pierre. Do my car so fucked up? Fuck no. Nothing beyond 1979. All that Vice City era shit ruined Pinewood. Too much coke. Trip check can't smug anymore.
Hold up. You're hearing the radiator leaking right now? <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll see you at the accordion workshop. Hey, babe, I didn't get it. Hold on. I guess some people were posting uh, borderline edgy shit. So we're just going to start banning people who are trying to toe the line from Discord? Instead of uh, kind of banking on the fact that they're just going to get timed out for 24 hours, we're just going to start banning people, I think, for a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on, smug my post real quick. See if it see if it works. fucking car John Mirror again. John Mirror. Oh, I'm down. They took, uh, they took, they, they dag on the, the damn communists. They brought my truck. I'm down. Huh? I'm calling reinforcements. Wait, is this John Mirror? I'm down. Help. What, Mr. Mirror, where are you? I'm I'm trying to find General Zancudo and try to report in. It's been 27 years. <laughs> General Zancudo is dead, Mr. Mirror. What? Yeah. The Dabruski's got him? He had a, no, he had a triple stroke. <laughs> God damn, what a beautiful fucking American. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. He's, he's in. <laughs> Who the hell I report to now? Um... I don't know. I don't think we have a standing army. Uh, I, I was look. a part of. I was part of the third reconnaissance unit. I was an expert in covered in concealment. Whenever they send them sanguine mutants after me, I beat them with my big American bear paws. Only good for two things: fighting and counting money. Fighting and counting money. Look, Mister Mister Mirror, you are a a true inspiration. Uh, and I just wanted to say that some miscreants were trying to take the park that was named after you. 
People keep saying I gotta park. I don't even know where to park my car. It's a uh, mirror park, sir. Oh. Yeah. What is it? Is it a park full of mirrors? No, it, it's just a section of the city named Mirror Park. It's like a residential area. Oh. <laughs> you didn't. Why's the name you didn't. That? You because of your service, sir. Your war service. I'm still surfing. What do you mean, service? It's still. There's no. That's not like I've a. Three, that's not like. That's I've not a in, past I've tense. Been in, I've been in three goddamn. <laughs> how did you even get this radio frequency? This is a. This is your phone, Mister Mirror. This is one of my radios. It's supposed to. This is only supposed to be. This is a cleared military channel. You don't even have the key for it. You don't have the key map for this. All right. Look. Uh, it. It was truly an honor, sir. And listen. Those miscreants give you any trouble. If those Ruskies give you any trouble, you give me a call, okay? Them damn Ruskies took out my truck. Well, yeah, I mean, it's what they do. <laughs> Can I have another one? No. <laughs> oh. Yeah, use your well, fucking use your fucking VA benefits or something. What the hell's a VA? Yeah. <laughs> Should have had a V8. Normal people would have used the the drive the road. <laughs> yeah, most people wouldn't drive through the f fucking. I... Did you put a knife I... here? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna play uh, what's it called? The thing where you stab the table in between the the fingers? Oh, the fuck! Why the fuck did you put your knife on the table? <laughs> because I didn't want to ha fucking hold it when I'm sitting down. Yeah, that's fair. So what up, dog? Uh, I'm just gonna be very blunt and sure with you, okay? Sure. Uh, I have five hundred thousand dollars that I need to clean, okay. and these money runs have been robbed at every chance, at every possible way. Okay. And. Right now, we have the manpower, and we have the guns. We have four of them. Okay. But three of them are out of commission because we don't have any fucking magazines for them. Sure. And I'm pretty sure we have the ammo. But... Well, what, what kind of ammo? Uh, just standard uh, clock 18 rounds. Okay, so... All I have... I mean, I assume you're asking me for stuff. You can answer your phone. That, that's your phone, friend. Oh, shit. <laughs> right, give me a minute. I thought I muted mine. Um, I only have... I only have 1911 bags. The untraceable ones are 1911? Uh, it, basically anything purchased before a certain point are probably going to be untraceable. I mean, I, I feel like uh, I'm probably going to leave DNA on these or whatever, but... Hmm. Mm. What's the fucking problem, then? So you only have Glocks? Uh, well, they're not my guns. Yeah. So I can't give you, like, a correct answer. I know that they are Glock 18s. At least three of them. Well, um... Fuck, all of the magazines you have have your DNA on them? Yeah, but I mean, DNA decay is over time, right? If you're just careful about using them, then I'm sure eventually that would no, that would no longer be the case. Well, are they in a place that you have to grab them? Uh, I have them on my person right now. No, I guess you could take them off of me. I haven't touched them in a while. I didn't even think of that. 
Yeah, I got him in my little, little satchel right here on my uh, right side. Well, yeah, I mean, on mine. Well, I mean, you don't even have 1911s. Well, I don't know if we do or not. Is 1911 the fucking Is ammunition there... guns that are about to be spread out? Yeah. Also, I think we're not going to be able to pass uh, gun license stuff yet because there's some uh, some things that are happening in terms of... So, basically, you heard about those, those ammunition crate robberies? Yeah. Uh, it's super fucked up their supply chain to the point where they can't even, like, sell stuff uh, on the streets right now. Uh, city council and friends got a... What's it called? Um, we kind of bought up the last guns-ish, kind of, it seems like. Right. So, yeah, look, find out if you if you have Glocks or 1911s, and then just get a hold of me, and I'll, I'll give you the ones that I have. I'll give you... The ones you have are for the 1911? Yeah, I got, a, I got two 1911 mags that I can give you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, if you're looking for more stuff, you could try robbing council members. <laughs> uh, they probably yeah. all have guns on them at some point. Some of them might even have a Glock. I'm not sure. Because when, when we were issued our stuff, we were able to buy a 1911 or a Glock. Uh, and uh, we could buy Glock mags and 1911 mags and ammo for both of the guns if we wanted to. Um, and then we were only able to buy 1911 stuff. And now I'm pretty confident we can't buy anything. Is there anyone in the council you particularly don't like? Uh, the PD liaison, Nakoda, the treasurer at a Hawthorne, um, and the medical liaison, uh, Philip Acanter. Philip Acanter at a Hawthorne. Philippa, Philippa, Philippa. Philippa? Was it B or a P? P. Philippa Cantor. Yep. Uh, also, what the fuck? Uh, Juno was given a gun license before she was fired, and it was never revoked, so she might have something for you to grab. <laughs> really? Yep. And do do me a favor, beat the shit out of her too. <laughs> Wait, why? She fucking stabbed me in the back. It, it, this, I gave so much time and energy and effort. Wait, hold hold on one sec. Hold that thought. You know uh, Alex Domino? Yes, very well. Uh, she might have Glock stuff for you as well. I'm not sure what gun she bought, but I know she was given a license. Well, I can't risk. Uh, Alex is a part of. Well, you, so my you're willing family. to risk me? <laughs> no, I'm not. That's why I said if your DNA is on them, then it's a fucking wash. Uh, it will be on there, probably. I, I really don't know how it works. I don't. So, wait, Juno you know, stabbed you in the back? Uh, in so in look, okay. All right, I'm going to give you the I'm going to give you the long story, okay? Uh, it was either two or three council meetings ago, I can't recall. Uh, she instantly into the beginning of the the council meeting starts to scold me for not being available for her to contact in front of everybody at the council meeting. Uh, which which makes me look weak to everyone else there. It makes it makes me look unavailable, which is just objectively untrue because during that time I was available just later at night. Um, and so I would just wasn't meeting her schedule, essentially. And she laid into me, um, which prompted me to get very angry and lay back into her. Uh, I essentially had to explain. The purpose of her job at the time, chief of staff, was to effectively uh, that the what no additional direction was required. Anyway, it's been so long I can't remember the specifics of our little argument at that time. Uh, it happened. We we talked it out um, afterwards after the meeting, 
and she, I, I told her, hey, uh, from now on, I will try to communicate a little bit better with you. Uh, and I, I will touch in, blah, blah, blah. And, and this whole time, I'm working on, hold on. Here, you think about it. Hold that thought for one second. Why? Because I, <laughs> I mean, this is good news for me. To be honest with you. Okay, let me keep going. Listen up. Um, after the meeting, we kind of make up, and I, you know, we. She she tries to frame it as though we both messed up, but what, in, in actuality, the way that it's written is that the chief of staff is supposed to be my evangelist, and there's no universe in which someone who is appointed to that role would ever attempt to call me out or scold me in front of other council members, which she did. So I, I essentially, I gave her a pass, and I was like, listen, um, it, the most frustrating part about that whole meeting was that she she tried to be like, oh, we both messed up. You know, it's whatever. I was like, no, you messed up. You forced my hand. Don't let it happen again. <laughs> um, and from that point, I thought we were good. Uh, t it, time trundles on. Uh, there's, uh, we meet maybe a couple more times after that. <sighs> and... I, I hear from my wife one night after I draft up the 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 police continuity act, the thing that's given me control over the LSPD for a time, uh, that she went to my wife and said uh, that she was upset because the police continuity act did not give her, it did not explicitly state the chief of staff in the document as acquiring some of the powers that I gave myself and the deputy mayor. But she was throwing a tantrum about this shit. And keep in mind, I invested oodles of time and effort into getting to know this person, to get, to understanding who her enemies are, to proposing solutions to the problems that seem to continually plague her no matter where she goes. I, I, I mean, you I, went to bat for her, you know? Multiple you times. Threw, you threw Nino and Eve under the bus for her. That's right. We'll get to that part. But you you only know part of it. I, I, I risked my reputation and, and I spent my time and effort into trying to mold her into a person that does not need to be at the uh, the whims of other people, to, to become her own person, to shape her into somebody that could shake off the shackles of her previous reputation, uh, which I was warned about by countless people and which I ignored foolishly. Um... And to, to, to do all of that. And she goes to my wife. She whines about not being explicitly included in the document, which is funny because as it was written, it says the mayor's office and the chief of staff is included in the mayor's office. So she would have had some semblance of power as as stated by the act that I was going to publish. So she overreacts and doesn't read and tells my wife about it and then expects that my wife won't tell me for whatever fucking insane reason. She tells me and then I decide, hey... Juno is fired. You know, I shoot I shoot Alan Crane an email because it's fucking super late at night. Uh, and I say, hey, fire her. Also, my wife is my chief of staff now. Boom. Done. Fast forward a little bit. I get a call from Lang saying that she's going around fucking talking mad shit about me, trying to to implicate me in certain things. It just <laughs> Oh my god, it's it is insane. Um Yeah. I'm just trying to think of like all the other the other man. Oh, oh, and as for even Nino, uh, that was probably the bis biggest ask by her was for me to essentially blackball them, even though uh, be because of some sort of transgression that happened between uh, Eve and uh, mainly just Eve and like the old gang that Juno was a part of this, this like group of Italian people or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so she she was like came to me. It was stressing her out super hard. I was like, listen, this is what we'll do. Uh, and people need to understand that you have power now, and that they can't just walk all over you and stuff. Because I had the picture painted to me that she was being walked all over. And I believed her. Um, so I I called in Nino to a meeting, and I blackballed him. 
Uh, but a couple of days ago, maybe like four or five days ago, I met up with uh, Eve at City Hall by chance. And I told her straight up literally everything that happened. I was like, listen, uh, I'm sure you've talked to Nino after that meeting. Uh, I'm sure the reception wasn't very warm. Uh, I'm going to be completely straight up. Uh, for Juno's sake at that time, I was going to blackball you two. Uh, and I just wanted to apologize for f for trying to fuck you like that, because I it, that is what happened, uh, and I'm sorry. She accepted my apology, so <clears throat> that's good. We're on good terms. Um, if Nino is still interested in running some sort of business when I'm given the power to finally establish things like that, then uh, he is he's first on the list as far as I'm concerned. Right. Well, my word of advice to you from that is just be careful with Nino. Nino does not forget. And uh, yeah, he, he doesn't forget shit like that. And he probably, uh, I mean, I'm not trying to like worry you or anything, but he probably killed someone after you blackballed him, so. Who? You know. Who did he kill? Oh, I don't know. I I don't know if he did, but I can imagine that he probably just bashed someone's fucking brains up. Oh. So, if oh. he says he's over it, maybe. But as a friend, Max, don't fully believe that. Like I I like Nino, but yeah. Just be <laughs> careful. He said it. <laughs> he said Three it. Wait one sec. Yeah, I'll be careful, but look, I, I tend to operate on uh, honesty and stuff, and if I, ex I explain my situation to Eve, I'm sure she might have already talked to Nino. Uh, I, I'm looking to talk to him personally, so if you see him before me, let him know. No, I'm not going to say shit. I think that's something you need to do. No, I said if you see him, let me know. You don't have oh. to say shit to him. Hey, do you know if Juno runs with anyone? <sighs> Ooh, this is a good meta you know. for us. Uh, Solar Parade, is it old just... Is it just... Okay, don't... Who are you talking to? Siobhan knows? Yeah, but we... Okay, well... We've had literally no reason to talk about it. That's good. So. Um... Do you know who she runs with? Is it just is it Igluwu? only Vito? Does Vito have a crew of them? Are they still together or what? She told you? Did she? I think she might have told me about her getting robbed. I can't remember. Mm, she told you about Stelio. Okay. Goldfish memory? Bro, there's just so much to keep track of, man. Uh, Lumber as in Jack Kettleman. Oh, there it is. There it is, dude. <laughs> there it is. That lines up pretty fucking good. Um, I don't know. Don't tell anyone this. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Well, uh... <laughs> it's so fun. Uh... Keep this between us. And by between us, I mean don't tell Siobhan this. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> apparently, Juno is uh, maybe not exactly 100% with this lumber union, uh, this Jack Kettleman guy. Sure. But apparently, she is doing something with him. Why, and why not tell my wife? Well, because Jack Kendall, Jack Kettleman is on a shit list right now, For and what? well, he stole a bunch of shit from a friend of mine, the same friend that oh god has from future all that equipment we talked about, and Ooh. we were gonna do something to him anyway, but what better way to do something to him than? to maybe grab one of his associates that we wanted to grab anyway. And it's it's like a two birds with one stone thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you know what? Hey, <laughs> let's, let's say, let, let's do a hypothetical real quick. Okay. What's that? 
What if you grabbed Juno, brought her to an ammunition, and made her buy you a gun? <laughs> Sorry, this chair is real squeaky. I like, I don't know. I, I don't know if they, I don't know if we should do that. Actually, I you remember <laughs> a month and a half ago when Leo Slacks accidentally hired uh, Alex as a cop. Yeah. And she could buy a gun. Yep, I remember. You remember what you said then? Yeah, I asked for forgiveness. Yeah. Or sorry, uh, act and then ask for forgiveness. Yeah. Yeah. You remember how you wanted me to go and buy a gun? Yep, I remember. It's good to see that you haven't changed at all from that. <laughs> Look, you just be the voice of reason, man. It's fine. <laughs> what, would you do that? <laughs> no, yeah. I wouldn't. All right. I would I'm, not okay, bring okay, Juno okay. into the fucking gun store, yeah. hold her up, <laughs> and have that guy do her paperwork to sell me a gun. <laughs> He'd probably hit his fucking call the police button <laughs> under his fucking desk. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. God damn. You're right. Fine. You're right. <laughs> Has all this fucking paperwork made you crazy, Max? When's the last time you fucking hurt someone? Hurt someone? Physically. Uh, do animals count? No. What? What the fuck are you doing to animals? Running them over? <laughs> no. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I judo chopped, uh, Jane Randall after she. Uh, cornered us in the burger shop mall area and she turned around and began saying that she was the Zodiac killer to a crowd of people that watched us being held up at knife point. When's <laughs> the last time you stabbed someone? Uh, it's been a while. You want to? It's, who? <laughs> who cares? Uh... We're just gonna pick someone up and stab them? Well... You have a lot to lose, so you're not going to do shit. But I'm thinking maybe, you know, night comes around. Me and a crew grab someone. Doesn't fucking matter who. We, you know, cuff them to one of these chairs, and maybe you can release some fucking stress. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Declan Murphy. Um, I, I, I'm flattered. But I think for the sake of you and me and everyone right now, I should probably not risk it. You're not going to get fucking caught? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean, the, the police department is in a pretty bad state right now, huh? <laughs> oh, look, you know, the you know, boppers look, up I, for I, I, I'm getting stalked by someone right now. Who? You ever heard of a guy named Vingle Dan? <laughs> mm, one of the fucking Vingles brothers or some shit? Yeah, he's a demon from hell. Apparently. Yeah, I don't fuck with any of that freak family. Okay. Well, that's who I would have suggested. My wife my wife nailed approximately 15 crucifixes to our trailer to keep him out. <laughs> Why? Because he, apparently he's a fucking demon from hell. A demon from hell. That's what I heard. You need to take a day off, Max. I, I don't know how I don't know what it's like being mayor, <laughs> but uh, surely this shit is very stressful for you. Glorion's the one who said it. It wasn't even like a thing that we made. Glorion up. lives in the sewer and eats rats, Max. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I told him I could I'd let him be mayor for a day. Who? Glorion? Mingled Dan. Why would you tell him that? I don't know. <laughs> When you don't ignore these things... Okay, let me give you some advice, Max. <laughs> when there's a freak around you, don't give it attention. <laughs> I can't help it, man. I can't. I literally, I literally cannot. I see, I see freaks on the street, and I'm like, listen, take my hand. I'm like that. I'm like the 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 leper from Darkest Dungeon. Right. Well. <laughs> Regardless, uh, so we'll kind of get the <laughs> this is all uh, coming together very nicely. I can't believe that 
you want Juno, like, maybe you don't want her stabbed. Did you say you want her stabbed? No, just beat her up. Fucking punch her in the face for me or some shit. It's just insane how that's lining up with shit that's, like, totally irrelevant to this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and once again, she might have a gun on her. Uh, and also, it's probably going to be um, a cult. You know, you know who you could call? Actually, let me call someone for you real quick. Okay. I think I know where I might be able to... Actually, hold on. I think I know where I might be able to get clock magazines. He ain't picking up. Uh oh, whoever it is, don't mention my name. Yeah, of course. He didn't pick up. All right, I'll just try again another time. Um, All right. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about Vok magazines. At yeah, all. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure what each gun is. I just know that there's four of them, and only one has a magazine, so. Well, find out. Let me know. Oh, well. All right. Yeah. I appreciate and, it. Thank you, Max. And if you if you manage to scoop up Juno, um, say it was from me. <laughs> I mean, do you want to... <laughs> I would well, love. I would say, love let, to let, be there. I would say, love to be there. Don't say no more. So, do you want to? Yeah. Now, let's say we go through with that. Would you want to stab her? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll see what I can set up. Uh, when does she usually come around? Um, earlier. Okay. Honestly, I don't, I don't even know if our paths will cross. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Well, always, always good to see a big dog. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Um, do you need anything apart from the thing? Uh, no, mainly just magazines for the guns. Uh, like I said, I got a fuck ton of money I need to clean, and that shit gets robbed every fucking hour. Oh, right. How did you get so much? Unclean money, anyway. Uh, moonshine. Oh, I mean, are you, are you running the moonshine yourself, or are you just have people doing it for you? Uh, no, I have people doing it for me. Nice. Um, so you you've only got one functional gun right now, essentially. Yeah. Damn, that's rough. I can give you mine. No, that would be fucking stupid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if there's any, if you ever get a gun and like it doesn't come back to you, I'll take it. But I, I don't, it, I don't think I'll ever come across a thing like that. Right. You fucking hear that shit out there? All right, look, uh, meeting, meeting adjourned. Call me later. Uh, oh, appreciate it, Max. Stop inting, dog. Jaeger's the one who busted him out of prison, essentially. So. You gotta play. You gotta play a little fast and loose, otherwise, nothing ever comes of it, right? You know, it, it's a much it's a much cooler scene if he manages to get Juno, and then we have a little dialogue, and then we take the mask off and then stab her, shit like that. Blues Billy, thanks for subbing. Burning. This probably won't be around for like a month. Oh. Siobhan won't be the next mayor when you are involved with this. You ever heard of something called spousal privilege, friend?
Hello? Hey, which way did you go? Uh, south? What, east? East? Here, come take this repair kit, by the way. Your car was fucked. Yeah, um, I was just gonna go to Mosley's to get it fixed, actually. No, it's fine, it's fine. I'll just make it to Mosley's. Uh, oh, make it to fucking Mosley's? No, 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 listen, 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 listen to me, listen to me. I'm not a trained mechanic, so if I use one of those, it fucks my car up. So it's just better for me to go to Mosley's. Thing's gonna fucking explode, man. It's not gonna explode. I already hit it with one. That shit. Okay. All right. All right. If it explodes, remember me. Uh. <laughs> I want to AFK, but I don't want to AFK my car. That's whatever. Park Ranger Dolo, the Blues Billy. Thanks for subscribing. I'll be right back. One sec.
Come back. My wife made me some pancakes, mate. How many times have you eaten already? I haven't had any food today. Noob down. Pancakes are just syrup pizza. Wrong. Love pizza though. It's 6 p.m. Why are you having pancakes? Dude, you ever had breakfast for dinner? I'm gonna eat this real quick. Give me a couple minutes. tiny pancakes. Fake or real maple syrup? I think it's fake. Real maple syrup tastes like ass. I don't think I've ever had it. Great, I got syrup on my hands, guys. Play lockpick. I love 
this tinnitus ass beat. We gotta get back to Los Santos, baby. Why does it feel like my hand's still sticky? Hold on. One sec. 30 seconds. Play Fuck the Police by Young Dab. What? Hey, yo, fuck the police. Uh, I hate them a lot. Check it out. They're gonna get shot by my guy because I'm rolling up deep. Boom, bye, boom. Uh, beep, beep. That's. <laughs> Wait. Hey, sorry, I missed your call. Um, this is calling you back to uh, let you know that uh, I love you and I miss you. <sighs> hey, keep it down. Really, I'm trying to I really sleep. want you to call me back. I've been in bed for like two days, yo. I ain't got now. Shit's rough. Young like Dan. Every day. Try and slay. That pussy. But I can't. So my bitch is dead. Got shot in the head. Shit's fucked. Young Dan walking down the street thinking about that motherfucking heat. But I ain't got shit. Cause my fire's burned out, turned out, everything is fucked and you know that shit is a truck that you ride in every day. My sadness is like a truck, 
not a fact. Cool, thanks. Yeah. Hi. Hey, how you doing, man? Win. <clears throat> I require vehicle repairing. All right, how you? How's your day going? Okay. Uh, pretty, pretty good. All right. Um. So, it's a little dinged up, but it isn't all that awful, honestly. Uh, it's just right now there's a radiator hose that slipped. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll cover this uh, as a small wedding present. Oh. Ceremony. Thank you. Not a problem. Oh, actually, I had a question for you, but I'll, I'll go grab the parts and be right back. Okay. Hey, hey, young dad, you know my daughter Olga, she tell me, hold on, you know, she hold on. listen to your music. Yeah. He said listen to your music, if I see you, you ask for autograph, Hi, okay. can you give one to her place? Yeah, hold on, come here. Got like a piece of paper, yo. Own this car, you do. Fuck the police, I hate them. What'd you say? Own this car, you do? Uh, the state owns it. Oh, okay. What'd that mean? Uh, they bought it, and once I'm no longer mayor, they'll get it back. Oh, unfortunate mm -hmm. that is. Very nice car this is. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. Oh, look. So, Max, I wanted to apologize for not being at the wedding. I, I felt real bad that I didn't get a chance to make it over there. It's all good. I heard... One question I had for you. I was yeah. talking... To... I was talking to Slacks yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh... He said that he had interest in maybe uh, hiring someone on to do uh, repairs over at PD, but he couldn't get budgeting and shit for it. Get what for? Budgeting? Yeah, budgeting and stuff for it. Yeah, they can't. Um, they can't. Um, they don't have. They don't have a budget right now. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Um, one of the things I was looking to do is maybe do that. So if at any point uh, that stuff uh, clears up. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're looking for someone to do that sort of thing, let me know. Okay, I will. Um, is there anything I can do for you? No, I'm good right now. Uh, I gotta, I gotta finalize some stuff we're gonna bring to the meeting tonight. Alright, well, I hope you, uh, kick no small amount of ass tonight, sir. You have a good night, alright? Thank you. Take care. Yo. Fuck the police, I hate them. Shit, I'm gonna skate them. With my dad, cause it goes loud. And then I'm gonna shoot them in their nap. Uh, I'm gonna fucking have sex with their wives after I've given them the knives. And I'm sending them to the morgue. Cause check it out, I'm a porg from the movie Star Wars. Check me out, I got whores. Hey baby, you wanna be one? I got whores, I got gonna sell some coke. Uh, hey there. Oh, Mr. Mayor, is that you? What are you guys doing? Oh, uh, this guy locked. You know the guy who made the lockpick sign? Jamal? He should yeah, have made Jamal a sequel called Crowbar because he ain't got one. <laughs> that was a good one, huh? <laughs> That's a pretty good one. <clears throat> hey, Jamal, believe it or not, the mayor's here to help you now. Right? You're here to help him? Um, He's he fighting might be people. Dead. People down there trying to kill him. He's been arguing oh, with them all God. the whole time. He stabbed one of the ladies. This isn't what oh. Tysock was going on down there. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go down there, oh. boys. I'm going down there. Gonna, are you serious? <laughs> yep. I'm, go, <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> I don't think the jurisdiction goes that far. Never mind. Never mind. I can't actually go in. No one has a, no one has a crowbar? Someone's on their way nah, with a crowbar. I think they're oh. here. Oh, there they are. Tester's here. Tester's got the crowbar. Hey, here we go. Okay. Salvation hey, Bozo, guys. Hey, Bozo, <laughs> Jamal, hang in there. I can see right now. My eyes are fucking just hemorrhaging. Jamal, how's your uh, stab mm. wound? Are you doing okay? Like, you okay, okay. I hear people talking. Oh, there there you go. What's up, Frog? Hey, I could Tessa. not see nothing. Yeah, scoot, 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 scoot. Yeah, uh, Jamal. He's still there? Jamal is wounded. <laughs> yeah. It's probably oh, not going to feel too good coming up. I could up. not see anything initially, bro. I just, uh, Hey, big dog, I'm here. Let's get it. I'm here. Everybody up. Everybody right. up. Everybody up. Is that uh, Mr. Oh, Mr. Obama? Everybody up. Everybody <laughs> up. 
Oh, I thought you good. were Obama. <laughs> Listen, you gotta. Oh yeah, that's right. You gotta pay me for my lockpick performance. Yeah, hey, you saved our wedding, by the way. I appreciate that. Uh, oh, uh, I mean, it comes with a price, Mr. Nice. Mr. Mr. Biden. <laughs> Jamal, well, we'll, we're, we're, we're gonna, gonna rate that off as a wedding oh, gift, no. Jamal, since you didn't get my wife and I one. What? <laughs> yeah. He's Wait. Hey, yeah, you, you can put him in here if you want. Is that all right, mate? Is this the mayor's Cadillac? Mm -hmm. oh. Was that hooch? Oh my God, fuck you, Carmine. Did you just pull out a carton of fucking hooch? No, I can't. You give me it right, mate? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get there. I don't know. I'm, I, don't, I think I got it. Hi. Yeah. Hi. We got uh oh. Rescued, Love you. Is he okay? Uh oh, no bueno. Whoa. Every, everything's okay. <laughs> you there tomorrow? I'm underneath the car. Yeah, don't worry. You're fine. <laughs> I feel like Sideshow Bob on a goddamn Simpsons. <laughs> what the fuck happened down there, dog? Listen, man. There was this lady that robbed me back in the day. Yep. And she didn't tell me who she was, but I remember her name and I remember her voice specifically. Yep. And she was down. And I got stuck down there oh, in the sewers. Hi. <laughs> I got stuck down there in the sewers. And then after that, uh, I found her down there in the sewers. And I stabbed her. And then her friend stabbed me. Did so? Do they rob you? <laughs> no. Oh, that's good. What are you doing, Mr. Mayor? Uh, finalizing some legislation to present uh, later tonight. <clears throat> Can I also present them with you? Um, yeah. Look, I need a note taker, so you're more than welcome to join. I can be the guy that can do sign language. Yeah, you can sign language. Sign but, for us, interpreter. But, but poorly. No, no. You're you're a you're a professional expert. You know, we're going to have someone recording this meeting, so we're going to need oh, some shit. sign language. <laughs> shit. Uh, greetings, doctors. I present to thee Jamal Abdul Jabbar with a stab wound. <laughs> I am the scion of culture. <laughs> okay. All right, Jamal, I got to get um, out of here. All right. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, say can you <laughs> That's when you dance to play. play. Broke ho titties to the flow, motherfucker. Sitting on a mountain of coke, yeah. I ain't no joke. He don't play. Broke ho titties to the flow, motherfucker. Sitting on a mountain of coke, yeah. You gonna be a real black yeah. black tap tap. I ain't no joke, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, fuck the police. There's a bunch of bitches. Uh. I don't know no stitches because we rock it hard. Yeah, and hey, check it out. I'm gonna go far. Uh, boom. I got a fucking cat. And I'm gonna go blab blab. And kill your whole family, yo. Sun, moon's gonna make you swoon. Uh, uh, so you better come soon to PDM Motors. Take your photo next to your new car. But you better not be packing any heat because some moon's gonna take you out to the street to blow your brains out. He don't play. Broke ho titties to the flow, motherfucker. Sitting on a mountain of coke, yeah. I ain't no joke. He don't play. Broke ho titties to the flow, motherfucker. Sitting on a mountain of coke. You won't be a real black yeah. tap tap. I no joke. <laughs> He's gonna get us, man. <laughs> He's gonna get us, dude. <laughs> Gang stalked. <laughs> if I think like you fucking psycho, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh 
Oh god! Our, our car does still want a straight, guys. We gotta get to the highway. <laughs> we gotta get to a highway, dude. Ah, no! No! Hold on, drive past me. <laughs> no, please! <laughs> <laughs> help me, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> help, help me, help. Criminal. <laughs> Move along, citizen. This is long, sir. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna cut off your arm. <laughs> <laughs> what you got on? <laughs> He's gonna take my gun. Oh, fuck. How did you get a cop car? Uh, I stole it, dirt. <laughs> What's this? A gun. <laughs> 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 Wait, will I get in trouble and go to jail for this? Probably. <laughs> I don't want this. <laughs> I don't care if he takes it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna cut your arm off, though. No, please! Please! Hey, you got a knife! No! Help! Help me! Help! <laughs> Don't help him, I need a knife. <laughs> He's gonna cut my arm off! Put your fucking hands up! Put your fucking hands up! <laughs> <laughs> you got a knife? Please! <laughs> I need a knife, but I gotta cut his arm off. Don't, Don't let him cut my arm off! <laughs> you better not have a fucking knife. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a knife. <laughs> Alright. I'm taking your phone so you can't call the cops. <laughs> Go sit next to him! <laughs> <laughs> beat you with this flashlight. <laughs> oh! Oh! Hey, you got a knife? Don't give him a knife, he's gonna kill me! <laughs> Did I tell you you could get him? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Through my windshield, Vingle Dan has a, a CVPI. <laughs> okay. Um. Fuck. All right. All right. Uh, uh, one second. Oh. Please take care of him. I'm a, the EMS is unconscious. Help. 
No, he gave my gun back, guys. So we got to leave you. You okay? Oh, you no. fucking coward! <laughs> I'm sorry. You fucking coward! <laughs> He's saying we're from the armor. Stay from the mirror. I'll, I'll check with him. <laughs> hey, Mayor, where does it hurt the most right now? My back. Because back. I, uh... I skid along the, 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 the pavement. Triple one, what's, uh, what's the status of the medic? The medic's right down there. Yeah, I'm trying to get Bay to relay that. I'm trying to check on you. Oh, I'm okay. Call my wife. <laughs> Call your wife? Call my wife! He fucking rammed my car. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I can give her a call as soon as the phone starts ringing. Yeah. I got slacks blowing up my ear right now trying to listen to you. So, like, what do you do? Do they uh, run you over or something? I hit a pole. <laughs> oh, he was oh, chasing he me. You. He was chasing me in the fucking the cop car. <laughs> all right. Get to this road rash, rash off you, alright? Okay. Call my wife, Duncan. I'm calling. Uh, I'm, you, you want me to make sure that you don't die first? My love for her is stronger than the pain right. of my physical form. <laughs> uh, I can feel my skin ripping hey, open. You might need to come to the hospital for uh, Mayor Max. No, tell him to come. Tell her to come here. He uh, he went through a windshield. <laughs> Says his love for you is stronger than his physical form. That's what I said. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, why didn't you tell her to come here? Uh, I mean, you're gonna end up. You're gonna be in the hospital by the time she gets here. I bet she's right around the corner, Duncan. Duncan. I bet you she isn't. Where is she? Going to the hospital. Where you're going? You're going to the same place. Good. Good. Fingle Dan wants me dead, Duncan. Yeah, I know. I told him he's the mayor. <laughs> What's that? I told him he's the mayor. The mayor? Yeah, he's... Capital D? Yeah. He When he pit my car in front of the hospital, he said, I'm the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, help, really? help me, my back road rash. It hurt. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get you cleaned. We're gonna be taking you to the hospital. And any other circumstance, we would get you up on your feet, but I need to, okay. need to get the other guy to the hospital it's too. It's okay. Duncan! Duncan! Stake out my car, he's gonna come back. <laughs> okay. My okay. car's in the parking lot right over there. Okay, alright. Did he get the gun? No, he, he gave it back. I honestly would not have cared if he took the gun from me, by the way. Because uh, the way the Vingle Dan typically goes is he ends up getting caught anyway, so we'd get okay, back. Okay, I'm gonna get... Send it. <laughs> I cannot believe, dude. Uh, if any possible, could you uh, <laughs> self-transport them? I'm currently on the unit, and I'm currently dealing with a 14 at the moment. Oh god, he could be here right now! Okay, okay. okay. Um, uh, what, what, what do you need me to do? Uh, get the other guy help? out. Uh -huh. Um, he's gonna have to go in. Ooh. <laughs> so, you, you, le uh, you living, breathing? You good? <coughs> I'm okay. You're okay? Alright. Oh, see? It's good. She's you? Okay. Uh, Max, what happened? I went through my windshield. Right here, right here. Okay, great. Let me see him. Let me. Out of the way. Move, move, move. Okay, give me a break. <laughs> the fuck? 
I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put you in. Um. Ugh. He, he, he was like, yeah, I'm just gonna check. Come on. He was gonna cut so my arm. Would you love me if I had one arm only? I would love you if you had no arms. I wouldn't love you if you had no arms. <laughs> Wait, did was this Vingle? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I took Jamal to okay. the hospital. Right, sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna start him on and when I came out, I'm I saw written in children's chalk on the sidewalk. And, uh, I'm I see you smile. Oh my god! And then I That's looked, horrifying. I looked around. I didn't see anyone. And I started to drive off. But then there he was. In a stolen cop car. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> he slammed into my car. I tried to get oh away. Oh my god. I lost him. But he found me again. I was going 130 on that road next to the, the Olympic gas station. I drove into a pole. Oh no. But he didn't get you. Was that where the other police were? He saw you? me. No, there were no cops. And he came back. Oh my god. And he was like, I'm gonna cut your arm off. <laughs> and then an EMS showed up. And then he took him hostage too. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's why she was injured coming in. <laughs> he said, I'm the mayor. <laughs> and then he took my gun. No! But then he gave it back. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> what did he give it back? He said, I, I don't need this. <laughs> he, I mean, clearly. He was looking for a knife to cut my arm off. Jesus Christ.